We'll start with the day one. We've invited two startups. We've invited Open Motors. Their claim is supercomputers on wheels. That's going to be the future of mobility. They're not going to be cars, they're going to be computers. Our mission is to democratize mobility and also to enable new players to uh, make this transition to advance technologies in uh, new mobility faster. Beeline is a bike navigation made simple. They have radically simplified their navigation from maps to a simple arrow, like a compass. I think we can collect a very unique set of data by this drive around because by, by giving somebody a direction head and giving them that freedom, what we see if we see the, the heat maps of where people have ridden around or where they in time walk or run is human decision making about journeys. Mobility in the city is about urban flows, not just cars. So how does the whole city talk to each other? And with that, we moved into an exercise about challenges and opportunities. So what challenges and opportunities can we identify from the presentations of the several use cases and the companies? It really demonstrates the cross-sector nature of, of, of this topic. This isn't going to be solved by the car industry or by a particular player in a value chain. This is going to be solved by multiple sectors coming together and collaborating. And for me, EY has a massive role to play in that. Day two was um, a day where we could really expand our minds and stretch our thoughts into what would it be like to live in 20 years from now where the world is uh, not as, as you see today. So for that, we've um, looked into different user drivers, not technology drivers, to see what could define the world. The session was particularly interesting because it's, it's very difficult to think along all of the dimensions that we explored during the session, even as a professional researcher. So day four and five, concept development. What we've done is to look at the current situation and we've compared what is missing. When we talk about OEM as a service platform, we don't just mean that here is a service you go to, here's a phone number, give them a call and sort things out with you. There is so much more that um, OEM can do because of what it knows about you, about the car that you just bought, about all the data we'll be collecting, about who you are as a user and how you're driving. It's great to work uh, with the Impossible Group to go through this process because I think it helps us think a bit differently. It helps us move very, very quickly. And what I also saw was some very tangible uh, use case outcomes that can help drive uh, the finalization of our business case, our strategy on building out the rest of our future mobility platform.